Before heading out on a camp out, you need to know how to prepare for it. Today I will teach you the basic things that you need to bring to have fun and be safe on a camp out. The most important and valuable thing you need to bring on a camp out with you is water. On a camp out, you need to bring at least three to four liters of water every day to drink. You need to bring a full water bottle on your camp out. Okay? Not okay. Okay? Not okay. Okay? Not okay. Got it? The more exercise you do, the more water you have to drink. Something that you need to bring for you and your pal's safety is a first aid kit. In your first aid kit, you must include things like band-aids, swabs, alcoholic and non-alcoholic, athletic tape, and moleskin, and many other items. Now you need to know what clothing to bring, including hats and shoes. Now I need to tell you from the bottom up about the shoes and socks. You can bring tennis shoes for regular camping. You can bring sandals or flip-flops for water activities and hiking boots for hiking activities like backpacking. Also, you can bring socks, as in regular socks, for regular tennis shoes and hiking socks for hiking boots. Now I'll talk about underwear and shorts and jeans. Shorts you can bring to wear in warmer weather and jeans you can wear in colder weather on campus. Also, you, you should bring underwear and you should bring multiple pairs just in case they get wet over time. And now I will talk about the shirts. Shirts, during the summer you should wear it could be short sleeve or a light long sleeve to help protect your skin. Also, it would be helpful to bring long sleeve shirts during the winter to help keep you warm. Now I'll tell you about the hats. You can either bring a ball cap hat or a wide brim hat. Wide brim hats are better than ball cap hats because the wide brim hat protects more of your neck. Depending upon the weather, that depends on what kind of clothing you should bring. During the summer, you should bring a regular t-shirt or a light long sleeve shirt. When it gets colder, you should bring a sweatshirt, jacket, and a long sleeve shirt to help keep you warm. And when it's rainy, you should bring a poncho and maybe extra underwear and socks just in case they get wet. You may never know when the weather will change. So, check the weather beforehand. Bring rain gear or a parka. Now I'm gonna talk about layers. When it gets colder, you need to keep on adding layers to keep your body warm. When it gets colder, you can add on a long sleeve shirt. When it gets even colder, you can add on a sweatshirt or a smaller jacket. Then when it gets really cold, you should add on a bigger jacket and a beanie. Oh yeah, you're not supposed to bring things like electronics on campouts with you. Oh, what's this? Oh, I got a text. Hey, it's from the Scoutmaster. Put away your phone. Oh, okay. The only electronics that you actually are able to bring on a campout is a camera. Although you bring them at your own risk. If you lose it, well, bad luck for you. It's always good to bring a map and compass, so whenever you travel somewhere, you can find your destination, and if you get lost, you can find your way back to that destination. For eating, you should bring a mess kit, a spoon and fork, or a spork if you have one, and a cup to drink from. On a camp out, you can bring a pocket knife, but you need to earn the tone chip, which means that you have been trained on how to use a pocket knife safely. On a camp out, you should bring a sleeping bag. Now, I will tell you about three different kinds of sleeping bags. This is a fleece sleeping bag. Uh, this is used in warmer weather because it is not as thick as other sleeping bags. This is a typical sleeping bag that you would bring on a camp out. It is used for mild weather because it is a little bit thicker than the fleece. But, as you can see, it takes up a lot more space. This is what they call a down sleeping bag. This has a lot more fluff in it, so it's used for colder weather to help keep you warm. Some of these sleeping bags have stuff sacks where you basically, like its name, you grab it and stuff it in the sack. And, but you normally don't store it in here, you store it in a bit larger bags so air can get through it. <laughs>
tips about camping. First tip is that if you bring a sleeping pad, it'll make you more comfortable than sleeping on the hard, rocky ground. Second, if you have dirty clothes and a stuff sack, you can use this as a pillow. Third, if you have sweaty, dirty socks, and let's say you forgot a pair, you can open up your sleeping bag and put them at the bottom, and they'll be warm the next morning, so you'll have good socks tomorrow. It's always good to bring a flashlight or headlamp when it gets dark outside. The most important thing you need to bring with you on a campout is a friend. Also, that goes with the buddy system just in case you get injured, your buddy can help you out.